Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. I'm your host Andreas Kretz and today we are talking about should you come to Germany and work in Germany. That is something that a lot of people ask me because like they say, oh, in Germany everything like studying is free. Um, we have really good health insurance here. But what's the reality of it? Specifically from a data engineer's perspective. And for that, I have prepared a bit stuff for you. So I'm excited to hear what you think. And I'll, I, this is just the reality of how much are you going to make and how much is going to be left over for you, right? So let's jump straight in. Now, what I was thinking, the first thing that you need to know, this is not like in the US here in Germany. When you see in the US, people make 100,000 and more easily. This is not the case in Germany. In Germany, an associate engineer makes roughly 65 to 70,000 euros. And to make it just easy, always multiply this by 1.1, right? So 60,000 euros is $66,000. 70 is 77,000. So keep this in mind, multiply these numbers by 1.1 to get the, to the dollars. Now, here's the thing. I was calculating this and there are these calculators of okay what's your income and how much do you really have left at the end now here's an example this is an example for 65000 and if you're just listening to this on the podcast i'm going to explain this to you but if you're on the youtube channel then you can also watch this now 65000 euros means that is monthly 5,416 euros. So five and a half thousand that you get. Now, from there, you have the deductions for the retirement fund. That is 500 euros for insurance that if you are jobless so that you get money from the government, right? that's 70. Then we have a care insurance that is like a social security thing also 119 so we're already at 500 600 we're already at roughly 700 and then on top of that this is where your actual uh, health insurance comes in with another 421 euros so the actual from your 5400 all the deductions for just the social cost is 1100 euros right so you're ending up with 4300 Roughly. Now, from this 4,300, you have to pay taxes. Then you have to pay the income tax. That is 950 euros. And depending on if you're in the church, in the Catholic church or something, uh, they are also deducting money. But let's, not, let's just keep this out there. So another 950. So you end up with 3,351 euros. So you're a single, you don't have kids, that is what you end up with, 3,315. That's a tax of 38%, 38.13%. Now, here's the thing why also our company is having problems here in Germany, why labor is so costly, because we can scroll down here. If the company pays you 5,400, they also have to pay the uh social costs the same thing for the health insurance for the retirement fund for the other two so you get five four uh, but the company needs to pay six five for you right so it's almost more or over a thousand euros more how does the company have to pay for you this is something very very uh, interesting this is why it's so uh, expensive it's also like for me i would ha like to hire more people but the, like all these expenses it's like crazy right, so keep this in mind when you hear 65000 uh, you're going to end up with now uh, i'm really bad um with calculating this in my head 3351 times 12 you're going to end up with 40 40 right 40,000, that means $44,000. $44,000 after taxes, after social stuff. Now, it's not that much, but it sounds reasonable. Until you think of, okay, what else do you need and what does it cost? Now, let me bring this up. So, the 3,351. Now, how much does it cost living here? A reasonable apartment, not a huge apartment, costs you roughly 1,000 
euros. And if you're living in a large city, it's even more expensive. Right? So this is, this is a small flat you're renting, including heating and including power. A thousand. Very often this is more. Right? So then you, you still have 2,300. You need food. Food is not cheap here as well. So when I look at it and what, what it costs for us as a family, so you have to think of 100 euros a week. It's easy, super easy. So 400, again, 400 less. Then you have your phone bill. Phone roughly costs 30 euros. Internet, 30 euros. So this is already, how much is this? 1,400. So it's almost, you're at two. Right? Three, two, yeah, below 2,000. Then if you're not living within the city, you have to travel, right? You have to travel and then you have to think of, okay, how much does that cost? Let's say you lease a car here. The car lease costs you 400 euros and then you have to pay insurance for this, let's say 1,000. Then it's 500 euros for the car per month. Then you need gas money. And I was calculating here the liter of uh, petrol costs one euro eighty three here. So I multiplied this one eighty three times a seven liter per hundred kilometer car, and you drive ten thousand kilometers a year. That's uh, one thousand two hundred and eighty euros in gas money. That's one hundred and six euros per month. So you end up here with the rest after all, after everything, after all the taxes, all the social stuff, and after... So basically only to live here, you end up with the rest, 1,285 euros. That is the rest. And then you have to think, okay, now I need to, I need to save something. You need to save, let's say you save a third of this. That's 428 euros that you're saving. That leaves you as a rest 857 euros a month that you can spend. Now, th now this is... This is completely without, without clothing and without any fun stuff, right? This is just the bare minimum. So you're going to end up with 857 euros. Now, to give you a relation, what can you get for 857 euros? For 857 euros, you can't even get an iPhone right now. The iPhone here, a normal iPhone 15, one of the new ones costs you 950 euros. So you can't even get an iPhone. And a cheap washing machine costs you 400 to 600 euros. Right? So these kind of things, and it's going to add up. You, then you have your Disney Plus, you have your Spotify, you maybe have Netflix, you need new shoes. How, how much do you guess is a Nike sneaker costing here? Here, completely normal Nike shoe. Nothing serious. Air Force One here, 119 euros. Then other shocks, TLs, 160 euros. 139 euros, 130, 149, Air Max, 160 euros. So you need new shoes. Oh, from your 850 euros, 150 are gone. So you still have 600. And this is... It's very difficult to actually build up some momentum here because for 65, it's, it's not a lot that you get. And that is the thing here. So Germany, yes, they all say, oh, come here because they have good health insurance. They have insurance when you, uh, when you lose your job, you get money. Yes, that's true. But if you're working, oh boy, this is going to be expensive. And with the doctors, for a normal doctor appointment, you will get that very quickly. But if it's some specialist, it will take weeks to get an appointment or months even. So keep this in mind. Um, of course, if you're living uh, multiple people together somewhere and you're just driving with the bus. Yes. But if you're living like me, if you're not really in the city, you're outside of the city, right? So keep this in mind. Um, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to actually get to the point where you're making a lot of money here. Because also when you say, okay, now I'm making a hundred thousand, you're making a hundred thousand, but then you have to pay more taxes as well, right? Because we have, there's a progression in the taxes. So the more you make, the more you, uh, 
you have to pay taxes like in this example here let me show you the example this is an example for a hundred thousand right? that means eight thousand three hundred euros per month but what you actually get is four thousand eight hundred see this it's crazy that's 40 percent of taxes and keep in mind when you have to buy something this is why stuff is more expensive here you have to pay 19 percent value at tax to everything that's why everything is so expensive here. So what I want to say is, yes, it's nice in Germany. We have uh, we have good companies here. You can also gain a lot of experience. Of course, if you're just thinking about going to university and so on, university is super cheap here because you don't have to pay tuition. But from a working experience, it's not that easy because you're not making as much money as in the US. You're not making 150, 200, 300,000 euros. Nobody makes that amount of money. If you're making 100, this is like you're in the top tier already. So keep that in mind. And I hope this helped you a bit. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this crazy? Is this what you were expecting here from Germany? Super excited to hear your thoughts and then see you in the next episode.